Okay, hello dear friends, good morning, get ready. Uh -uh. Yes, we are, get it, get it. Okay, hello dear friends, hello. <laughs> so let's have a cup of coffee. I got one friend asking uh, a comparison of coffee and coffee machine. And uh, she mentioned, or he mentioned, that, she, let's use she, she mentioned she used one particular kind of coffee machine, which I have not used. So maybe I have tried somewhere in different places. But anyway, we will focus on this for coffee machine. I will do a demo. So I like drink coffee with a lot of milk foam. So there are coffee viennoise and um, latte macchiato and cappuccino and uh, latte art and flat white espresso on ice and iced frappi. It's uh, something like you only put glass and espresso coffee and then uh, the machine itself. The machine will blend it into such a thing that uh, it's very foamy without any milk. So you put this one in and this is the minimum. This does not go out as much as this. As it turns inside, there is a roller. It actually always, it turns. I think this is the way it turns. So it, um, it frosts the milk. Instead of those uh, little frappy, uh, instead of uh, uh, a metalware, this makes the frosting and the minimum and the medium you can put up to medium but not over medium not over this edge if you over this edge and do um, do um, cappuccino the milk will come out only something only heating milk making latte you can use more anyway you still not use too much. So I clean it up, dry it, and put this one in. Dry it a little bit. And there is a magnetic on the bottom. And uh, uh, on, on uh, Nespresso, Nespresso milk frother, it's all used magnetic. There is no out. Uh, a, a, a squatter coming out or something but this one is so much better I feel so not natural we will make uh, not mocha if you make mocha you put a piece of uh, uh, real chocolate like this you put a piece of real chocolate in it one or two so we will make cappuccino and I like to make it a little bit of half and half and uh, some whole milk this way it's uh, richer this way it is richer but not uh, fat okay I come to around this edge Put it back in. now what do we do put up the lid and usually I use uh, uh, this coffee mug because it's double layer double layered so I can uh, this coffee mug 
it's double layer, so the the milk will not, the, the heat will not go away. But today I will show you the coffee also. So I use this transparent. Now we get start. At the same time, I prepare my coffee. Here is the coffee machine. Start. You can see from here. Start. And it's bling, 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 bling. It means it's not hot enough. The water, the machine is not hot enough. Until it is hot, it will stop blinking. You can choose a small one or a large one. When you buy it, you will program how small is small. You can make it as small as one drop of coffee or make it bigger. And long one, you can, you can decide. Bzz, 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 you program it. And here we hear the sound different. We start to make our coffee. And uh, this one is, um, is uh, uh, decaf. Anything with a red dot is a decaf. And I will put it here. It's too small. You can... This is a too small cannot put it down, you can lift up like this also, put in, start, uh oh, good, that is a good mistake because I did not put the lid down, put it away, use as a cup of water to heat up, okay, lower down you can feel that start Okay, this time the cappuccino is good. We will pour in the milk. You can see here. It's quite uh, okay. You did not see very well. I will put the milk in. Sometimes there are more, sometimes less. It depends on the milk of that particular day. Maybe my milk is a couple of days too old and I want to get some more milk. So this is very good already but still why not get some more milk. I can keep on doing the second patch of it today is I found sometimes there are there are days milk has a, is more fluffy and there are days milk is less fluffy keep on walking can take a look at the mill. Now I start to realize actually it must be the, the milk. Sometimes uh, some milk when it is fresh or a particular brand it's more frosty and some milk is just feel they are not so so dynamic and uh, from my experience 2% milk is the most fluffy it makes the the biggest foam but um, it just uh, lacking some taste put some um, half and half will make it much more um, 
rich. But if you put whole cream with milk, it does not have any foam at all. It's because whole milk and, um, and heavy whipping cream, they are not the same texture, the density is not the same. You cannot make it a homo, homo, homogen, homogenized. So you cannot make it the blend. Otherwise, um, take some time. From my experience, I like this machine the best. Oh, oh, we are done. So this one is better than the other one, not the best, best, best. I have done something even better, but this one is not bad. There are some milk coming out, unfortunately. Ooh, look at it. And the bottom is still hot, so be careful. This one, I have a... This is not plastic, so I can... Not too hot, anyway. It's very noisy, I get it. Mm. Today is a little bit too much coming out. So that is the result when you get too much coming out. Inside there is a ventilator. Inside it's a ventilator. So it's doing its job to ventilate. Okay, so it will take a very long time for it to cool, calm down. I feel, ooh, I can feel the fence on the bottom. I can feel the fence on the bottom. Put it aside. And uh, we will be bothered by this sound. I make it all natural. Not uh, so that easy. I remember some friend said, wow, Haiying, you make so many video of this Nespresso. Maybe uh, Nespresso should hire you as uh, a marketing person, should, should pay me to do that. So I was thinking, actually, uh, George Clooney was one of uh, the most famous um, guy, uh, 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 image for, for Nespresso, for the promotion and for something for. And I'm thinking George Clooney is not the same caliber as me, so maybe, maybe <laughs> it's not, uh, yeah. So maybe this is why they did not choose me. It's good coffee. Okay, now let's take a look at this machine. So we are buying this machine because it's one of the smallest. This is a Pixie. It is small. It is, has the same pressure. When you put your capsule in, your capsule in, it's clean and um, like this. But when you put it in after you and it's still hot, it's quite hot. So there are three pins and many holes coming out. This is before, this is after. So it has a lot of pressure to press it in. And uh, the big, I think it's steam getting through it and come out. So, um, so it has a uh, 1.9 bar of pressure or something and uh, so it produced that foam and there are new brand there there are new products new line of product which is much larger than this one i do not feel that i need a large one because the small one is 
because the small one, so I, so I can have less coffee, more milk. If I make the large one, I do not see the difference why we need a large one. So this is a, taking very small space. After some time, they sell um, they sell something to dissolve the the clock. In this, after some time, if you use water, it will stop running very smooth. I think we have this something like uh, two or three years or four, four or five years, and we have changed one machine. The new machine was uh, um, orange, uh, hot lemon color, lemon yellow, lemon green. It's a beautiful color, but my husband chose the. The old cover. <laughs> anyway, um, it is replaceable. I can replace this uh, this panel, and uh, we. My habit is once something is right, buy the same thing. So this one was wrong after two or three years. That one was wrong, so we bought exactly the same thing, same brand, because. Um, it saves space. This takes uh, something like we, we feel this takes the least space. As our home has a small kitchen, small countertop, this is good. And uh, <clears throat> the milk frother, we have bought different kind of milk frother, and uh, experience told me that uh, uh, this one I can feel safe and it has one year warranty. I have bought some milk frother from the market, from the from uh, online shop, online, and they are not bad. They make beautiful m milk, uh, very good frothing, and uh, from twenty thirty dollar to to forty dollar something. It's decent, but after some time, it got broken. It's not that. Um, at the end of the day, because it's so inexpensive, it's actually not um, not more expensive than this. You say, if this one lasts five years, and that one lasts five months, so at the end of the day, all your spend is almost the same amount of money. But the difference, you have only one thing, and uh, you do not get... Um, you do not throw away too many things. One is good enough. So I like this one. It's very easy to clean every time. When I finish my uh, frosting, just uh, put into the sink and uh, rinse it. And rinse it. It never gets sticky, and uh, I can use with scratch, with uh, with scrap. We can use wash with uh, metal scrap. Anything. I do not use metal scrap. It's totally not needed. But um, nothing. Uh, you need to really special pay attention. And if you use a different kind, something like $199 or something, uh, Nespresso also sells those uh, uh, milk frothers, something like $90. Or, and you can clean it every time you need to clean it. You can do not do it two times. You can, but it just uh, you need to clean it. Otherwise, it will be a sticky part on the bottom. So I like this one, and it makes me very happy. And uh, I decide why not spend some money to buy uh, the most expensive. Uh, and I never spend much money on things. And the, every uh, yesterday, I I. Ride my bicycle went to recycling center. So today the the bag is empty. Every now and then I uh, recycle the um, the capsule. They say they they recycle it. 
and that's about about it. I didn't think I will drink coffee because at the first when I when we bought it, I didn't buy it. Uh, it's um, it's one day my husband and I we went to we went to um, sur la table. They they carry this item. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is a French product, and um, when we were in Paris many years ago, ten years ago or something, when we were in Paris, we um, went to Nespresso, not Nespresso, must be something, must be, I forgot, Nespresso store or uh, uh, some store, and we... Uh, had some degustation and tried some of it and um, we thought it's quite fancy and um, and then uh, we lived in one of our friends house and they had this machine and it was pretty cool so we decided maybe we should try one so we first bought a milk frother frother and it was so good but i do not have coffee machine and so i put milk frother with uh, um with express uh, instant coffee so i put in make some instant coffee a bag of instant coffee and very very few water and then milk frother the milk put it in and it was quite cool until one day happy birthday to me happy birthday to me on my birthday on my birthday uh, my s husband and my son came back with uh, with uh, 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 this pixie machine and then I start to, 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 to have it. Before I was thinking, why do we need it? If I, do not, if I do not drink it every day, I spend zero money on coffee. Well, maybe I will spend um, a couple of uh, dollars in, in the coffee shop, but I do not drink coffee. But since I start to have one, it becomes a habit. Think about it before you, you buy it. Do you want to build up a bad habit or do you want to just not to have this habit, not even having it? And it's your decision. Once you decide you want to have it, you can have it. So at the beginning I was against it, but uh, well, now it becomes part of my daily routine. Um, especially in the morning, a cup of coffee, um, a cup of cappuccino in the morning put me in the right mood. I feel that I'm treating myself every time after one class. If at home, now we are doing um, the, the distance learning, I finish my class, I will have a cup of coffee and uh, treat myself. And uh, later on, I will have my other class, another period. And uh, I will, at the end of that, I can, I deserve a cup of coffee. Otherwise, I will not have it. And um, it becomes one of my routine and put me in the place, put me in the mindset. So yesterday, I was very uh, sleepy in the in the afternoon. Afternoon is always sleepy. Outside is hot and beautiful sunshine. So I was I was thinking maybe I should reduce the consumption of this coffee. Anyway, that's my thought about it. It's um, it's fun and interesting. Is this necessary? Not at all. It is not a necessity. Nothing is a necessity. Teapot is not necessity. Uh, coffee machine is not necessity. You can live without any of them. Do not be. Um, do not be owned by the machine. 
your choice. Bye bye, friends. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do. Bye bye.